Hey, my legion, uh, how you doing? Hey, my legion. Hurt. Hey, my legion, how you all doing today? Hey, you guys. That's your own intro. I'm here today with my buddy John. We're here to review the man, I mean, the night who eats the world. The night. Uh, yeah, the, the night. night. What, the, the, night, eat, the, the night, night eats the world. The night eats the world, the man eats. Or something like that, yeah. That guy defeated man and fell to earth, uh, and was the night that eats the world. And uh, it took a little while to get into. I, it was weird because when we first started watching it, it was like a party of rave. And then music was playing, We it was hard to hear what they were saying. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't very mixed, mixed very well. I can't speak oh, either. Yeah. yeah, it's like... And, and you know, the audio was a little bit better after the party, but still wasn't... Great. Yeah, we kept cutting out a little bit. But it's like, uh, yeah, you got to do better for filling a party scene. Heck, just don't play any music. Had everybody pretend they're dancing and stuff. Yeah, and, I know. And then add in the music later. Yeah, they could do that. <laughs> That's and, the one way of doing it. And I guess he goes into one room and that girl says he's going to join him. He never does. And then uh, It's oh, like uh, she, I guess she dumped him or something. Yeah. He's a new guy. Something, and he wants guy. his shit back. No, I and, can barely understand what they were saying. So that was the <laughs> yeah. problem right there. And then, like, you know, that was like... And he falls asleep waiting that, for Yeah, and you hear a bunch of commotion, like, hey, like they're knocking or something, like, ah, something like that. And then uh, the next day he wakes up and he finds out that uh, the old, uh, they're all zombies or, you know, there's yeah. zombies outside. Of their body. There are not too many. There's some zombies in the apartment building. And basically the rest of the movie, I mean, I'm not, no sport not like that, is, like, he's trying to deal with... Well, he managed to, uh, like, uh, secure the building, sort of. But, I mean, there's still a couple zombies in the big apartment playing, and he, it's like him going through the scene. You see, like, uh, you know, when it gets cold, like, maybe summer, fall, winter, and then, like, him going nuts and seeing what he does to, uh, yeah, to keep himself busy. And then it's basically just trying to survive. It's all right, uh... I'd say it's core. It's basically the um, what the heck was it called? Um, Castaway. No, not Castaway. The one I was talking about, Richard Matheson's story. Um, oh, I am legend. Yeah, I am yeah, legend. That, why is the Castaway cut? Well, that's one thing. The guy he was talking to, I thought maybe his equivalent of Wilson. Yeah. But he locks a zombie in like the one uh, elevator. Elevator and closes up, and then he kind of talks to him when the zombie's in. <laughs> well, and the zombies look kind of comical too. They kind of look, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, they were scary a little bit, but not much. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. You know, right. it wasn't a great movie, but I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, at, at its core, it's I Am Legend, which was made to yeah. few adaptations, such yeah. as Vincent Price, Last Man oh, on Earth. Yeah, that was fantastic. And uh, Mega Man. Mega Man, and, and, and then a Will Smith I Am Legend. And, and uh, Richard Matheson said he thought Night of, De- Night of the Living Dead wasn't a bad uh, yeah. adaptation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but those are the best. And Omega Man is Heather Matheson's favorite movie. <laughs> All right. Jeez, that movie. <laughs> so I mean, that's for you. <laughs> I would put the one. I'm going to show you on her. Watch the Vincent Price one. <laughs> oh, the Vincent Price one's fantastic. Omega Man. And the Will Smith one's really good. This one's probably uh, at its core the weakest one because. He does something really, really, really stupid. That he does a couple dumb things. Yeah, like, well, he does. I, mean, I don't mind him playing the drums and stuff like that. Trying to get the see to me that was dumb too. Well, it was dumb, but at least he was playing a real cool song at first, and then he was just trying to piss them off and stuff like that because I guess he was bored or something. Or, yeah. Or, he, I, well, he probably just lose his mind. Yeah, but I mean, he did something really, really super stupid that made me kind of knock it down. I don't. I'm not no spoilers or nothing like that. Uh. It was okay. I could probably give it a. I think that I rose to a six and a half out of ten. <laughs> yeah. Cause that was like it was like too. It was a little too much for me in that part. And I like. I guess this guy's never seen zombie movies before. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, even he's just doing some dumb things. But I liked. I liked what he was doing to keep himself. Busy yeah, he's just trying while. to find things to do. Yeah, I mean, he did make some noise. I mean, like he was doing his own. But they had something that I didn't know they still made these because I remember having as a, as a kid these tops. And it had like a top part with like a metal thing and you push it down in a perpetual motion and you let it go for a while. I remember having one of those as a kid. Right. I didn't know they still made those. You yeah. know? Or it's just someone's from their childhood collection. Who knows? Well, I remember they had that one thing that uh, House of Sorry Roll that, I don't know, it was like this enclosed thing with like a uh, merry-go-round or something like that inside of one. But 
Because there's a photo. I wish I still had it with me as a kid and my grandfather holding me in his lap. And he showed me that thing and me as a kid. I wish I still had that photo, but I don't got that shit no more. That was from the, the house in Albion. That was a long time ago. Back in the early, early 70s. Back in the glory days. Yeah, glory days. Yeah. All right, anything more you want to say? I don't think I have much more to say about yeah, this. It's, it's okay. Yeah. It, uh, like the trailer made sound like... Yeah, it made it sound right. like a lot more exciting than what it was. <laughs> it was all right. It was okay. It was okay. I didn't hate it, but it's like... I didn't hate it, but I mean, that one dumb thing he did at the end... I didn't mind playing the drums, because it made... I mean, it, he would do stupid things to make the movie just go along, because it was kind of right. like... But he was in a secure place and stuff. I thought that was neat. A nightmare sequence was really good. That was scary whenever, like, he'd be real vulnerable and hear people walking up, running up the steps. That was interesting, but... A lot of times the zombies look like kind of goofy looking. Like, right. I like mean, one guy. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> I mean, cause zombies kind of do that anyways, but they kind of look scary. But these ones look, or they walk around like, they're like they're like they're like just drunk or, or tweaking out or something or twerking <laughs> or something. I don't know. Zombie twerking. Yeah, like hundred one ways to twerk. Yeah, Burp Girl uh, zombie twerking. Yeah, she's she's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Okay. Anything else? Nah, that's it. So I, you know, that's six and a half out of ten for the night eats the world, if I'm not mistaken. So I guess that's it. So until next time, buddy, for me and my buddy John, take care of my legions. Yep.